Hey guys, what's up? How are you? I hope you're good. Today's video is going to be pretty short. It's just a little rant, if you will. And today's topic is lactose intolerancy. It sucks. It really does. Over the past, I would say, year and a half, I've slowly become more and more intolerant to lactose. Where it first started that I could have any cheeses that I want or any, any butter, but I could not have regular milk. Which that was really weird because no one in my family has ever had that before. So I would drink the special milk. I was like, fine, this is what it is. Now it's gotten to the point where I can't have any dairy at all. So that progression, now it's 100%, no dairy for Kyle. However, within the past you know, eight months or so, I have found a lot of substitutes, more like in the, the vegan aisle of the grocery store. And a lot of the substitutes are pretty good. Some of them are okay, and some of them are awful. But you don't know until you try them. So I would say, you know, switching to a, a vegan cheese, like the, they have the cheddar, they have American, they have Swiss. There's literally almost every kind out there now. So you can somewhat live a normal life and, and eat your normal foods. Now, obviously, this goes for at home. When you go out in public, it's a lot different because a lot of restaurants use dairy and everything. So you just have to be really careful and not, you know, make yourself really sick just by not thinking. So now whenever I go out to a restaurant, my first thought is, okay, what has dairy in it? And typically 90% of whatever they have is served either with, with butter or with sour cream or milk or anything. Um, it, it's, it's, it's crazy to think about like how much of your food actually has dairy in it. So think about that the next time you're eating or the next time that you go out, how hard it is for someone who has a lactose intolerancy to actually eat out. It, it kind of sucks. Um, actually, I, I can't say it kind of sucks. It does suck. It really does. But it's something you, you have to get used to. You really, you don't have a choice. I mean, I could always just have a salad because everyone loves salad, right? No, no, salads suck. It's the last thing I want to eat when I'm going to go out with my friends and have a good time. Oh, I'll just eat a salad. Anyway, anyway. So very often, if I'm actually going to go out, like I'll just eat before I go out, and then I'll just get an appetizer of something, uh, like fries or chips and dip or something to that effect. And that's pretty much my life. Now, I know a lot of people, if you don't know someone who's, who's lactose intolerant or you've just never even, you're, or you're not around people that are very often, you don't really think about it and you just eat and live your normal life, but just think about it the next time you're out. If you had that, like how your life would be different. I know I have to kind of change a lot and eat around things and literally eat around things and, and plan out my, my day a lot more than what I did before. And I just eat, like I would eat on the fly. You really can't do that if you're not at home. It's a lot harder. And so that was pretty much what I wanted my video to be about. To let you know that being lactose intolerant really sucks. There are options and what it's like to have to live around being lactose intolerant whenever you're eating out, whenever you're not at home. But anyway, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching once again. Told you it would be a short one. Love you. Peace. Hey guys, how's it going? How are you? Good. That sounded a lot like Marky Miller. Sorry, I'm not copying you. But I do love you. <laughs> Have a salad. And that sounds wonderful, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. No one likes salad.